Hello everyone and welcome back to another hashtag trending with me Ali Reza and today we're going to be talking about the issue of clean water shortage amid extreme heat in Iran's southwestern province of Khuzestan which has resulted in days of protests there. Stay tuned. <laughs> Khuzestan province has witnessed several days of protests over the water shortage that has dealt a blow to the agriculture and livestock farming in the region. The authorities blame the crisis on a severe drought that has been unprecedented in half a century. While the government says the water shortages is the result of extreme weather conditions, some experts and many social media users blame the situation on unscientific dam construction on major regional rivers. Now, most of the tweets on this issue were in Farsi, so we had to translate them for you. The first one comes from Morteza Ajand. He wrote, The reservoir of Khuzestan dams is not empty. The capacity of Gotvand Dam is full, but it has a problem that it was built on a salt mine and hundreds of millions of tons of salt have been dissolved in it and they cannot use the water. The environmental threat of this dam for Khuzestan is worse than the water shortage. The next comment comes from Leo. They wrote, it is not just a matter of water shortage and drought. Iran's water resource management has been inefficient for many years. In the center of the Iranian plateau, river water is used to grow rice and other water intensive crops, while the most water rich plains of Iran, Khuzestan, is now left without water. The next comment has a video attached to it. It comes from Parvane. She wrote, uh, A painful video of a farmer angry with the drought in Khuzestan and the loss of his buffaloes. If the water does not reach today, all of my buffaloes will die, he said. These cattle are the only source of earning for the villagers in Khuzestan. And due to the lack of water, their lives are being destroyed. Check out this video. <laughs> While the people of Khuzestan struggle to cope with the water crisis, the country's armed forces as well as volunteer groups and organizations have rushed to the aid of their fellow countrymen in such difficult times. Our next batch of comments start with one by uh, Zabihi Khuzestan. She wrote, donating 20,000 bottles of mineral water to our loved ones in Khuzestan. The next one is from Meisam Irani. He wrote, well done army soldiers, some of whom have just returned from Sistan, helping the people there. They immediately joined other forces to deliver water to the people and cattle in Khuzestan to help resolve the crisis. The next comment comes from Sarwaz Velaya 2021. He wrote, the IRGC in Khuzestan has sent tankers to several villages in Dashta Azadagan as part of efforts to resolve the water shortage crisis. The IRGC will not leave Khuzestan alone in such a crisis. Many social media users in Iran blame Western and foreign-based media outlets of taking advantage of the situation in Khuzestan to push their anti-Iran agendas and spread division among the Iranians. And this is while Iran, just like many other countries across the world, is dealing with the devastating effects of climate change. Our final batch of comments start with one by Reza. He said, the reason the BBC, Iran International and Manoto channels constantly talk about the water crisis in Khuzestan is not news broadcasting or showing sympathy with Iranians. It's a clear example of psychological terrorism. The next one by Fatemeh reads, The most important cause of drought in Khuzestan and all of Iran is the unscientific dam construction. The problem of water shortage in Khuzestan will be solved through short-term and long-term planning. Of course, in the 13th government, which is a people's government. Our final comment of the day comes from Mohammad Mali. He said, the people of Khuzestan demand that the licenses for water transfer projects for non-drinking purposes be revoked. They also want the use of dams to be modified and their water rights from the rivers in Khuzestan to be provided. A sustainable, clean water supply for cities and villages is also among their demands. For now, these tankers can prevent the death of the livestock, which are all the villages have. <laughs> We sincerely hope for this issue to be resolved as quickly as possible and for 
better days for the people of Khuzestan. But uh, that's going to be it for me in this edition of Hashtag Trending. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.